Good morning, everyone. So Isaac is swinging, and I may have a brief moment to pray with you. I'm going to just jump right in. Father, I thank you for this day, God. I thank you for being the great I am, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. You're the hope of heaven. You are Lord. Jesus is Lord. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the hope of heaven. You're the hope of earth. If we didn't have you, Jesus, we would be lost and blue and dead in our sins and trespasses. But thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we're saved. We're heaven bound. We're going to be with you forever and ever and ever. And Lord, there are so many trials in this life, Lord, autism, disability, death, decay, um, wars, rumors of wars, um, battle after battle after battle, Lord, they seem unending. You're okay. Hi. Sit down. It's okay. Sit down. So Father, I just know that you are with us no matter the trial, no matter the battle, Lord. Like that worship song we sing, this is how I fight my battles. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And Father, we know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty. And God, for pulling down strongholds. And Lord, I just, I see this man, this dad exercising, doing push-ups. And his kids are playing on the slide. And he's trusting that even though they're not sitting right next to him, they're safe because dad's nearby and it's just such a perfect picture of our walk with you jesus sometimes you're right there holding our hands and sometimes you're in the heat of the battle uh, warring and we know you're near but you're not right right next to us so lord just no matter what may we remember what it says in psalm 16 11 in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore may you king jesus increase and may we decrease lord that is the best thing that we could ask for lord because our selfishness our pride our stubbornness our own willful uh sinful agenda it can get the best of us sometimes so forgive us of that jesus help us to just stay close to you lord to abide in you to cling to you to walk with you lord today is sunday Bless each and every church service, Father. Bless the worship teams. Bless the pastor's teaching. Bless the offerings even, Lord. Multiply the offerings that many people would um, be blessed and would receive all that you have through these offerings. Father, I pray for the outreaches. And I, frankly, I don't really like the announcements at church. I just always think, come on, let's get to the meat of the word. But Father, I pray that you would use the announcements that people would get involved that they would do what your spirit is telling them to do. They would be obedient. Isaac, come over here. Come over here, please. They would be obedient to what your spirit's telling them to do. If you have given them a song to sing, they would sing it. If you've given them a, write, a book to write, they would write it. If you've given them a child, a baby to hold or to care for in the toddlers or fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade classes, two-year-old classes, that they would serve, Lord, that we would be your hands and feet. Father, the time is so short your word says look up for your redemption draws nigh and we see it we feel it we sense it we know it lord you're coming quickly all of the um the signs are there lord um we look up and we see whoa there's so much there's um covid there's wars father there's a division in the church division outside of church political turmoil injustices famines um the recession the, the gas prices problem after problem after problem we see it and we get depressed and sad and down or we don't even, i don't even like watching the news it's just too overwhelming but i thank you god that it's not too overwhelming for you that your finger is on the pulse or you haven't moved your word says you live to make intercession for us god father make us women and men after your own heart like david like that beautiful phil wickham song says i will run and i won't quit chasing your heart like david did I'll come running through the gates looking for your face. Lord, I can hardly wait when you carry my soul away. Lord, I can't wait till that day when you carry my soul away and I'll be with you forever and ever, Jesus. Thank you that, that Edwin finished his race. Hallelujah. Thank you that Dan Timo finished his race. My dad, Ruben, finished his race. Uh, my Auntie Tita finished her race, God. Sally Palacios finished her race. Pastor Jesse Barella of Calvary Golden Springs, he finished his race. Lord, Pastor Chuck Smith finished his race. Even Pastor John Corson's son, Peter John, he finished his race. I was thinking about him the other day, PJ. He was such a neat, smiling pastor, and he filled in when John Corson was getting older, and PJ would, would step up, and he was the lead teaching pastor, and, and you called him home, Lord. And, I confess, Lord, that I don't understand how you work. I don't. I don't get it at all. 
but I know that your word says that you're the yes and the amen and your name is victory. So I'm going to trust you no matter how depleted and blue and frustrated and fatigued from autism and from the world I get. I'm going to continue to trust you and hope in you and rest in you and cling to you and love on you and give you Jesus to other people. Father, while we have breath in our lungs, Lord, we will pour out our praise to you. It's your breath in our lungs. We pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. Lord, bless Libby as she's in Lake Havasu with girlfriends. Keep her safe. Bless each and every one of those girls. They're so cute, 16-year-olds, adorable. They're living in the prime of their life. Keep them safe, God. Please, Jesus, it's very hot. It's 113 degrees. May they drink lots of water. May they stay safe if they're on the sea dunes or in the lake or whatever they're doing. Even if they're just lounging in the hotel room may they cling to you may they talk to you may they worship you lord father it's it's a sunday and i thank you for sunday lord that all over our nation all over our world people are gathering together to worship you jesus and some people don't worship you some people believe false beliefs but lord we're going to worship you in spirit and in truth jesus you're everything if we didn't have you we would be lost souls but with you lord we can just uh, have that whole no nipple no be nice talk nice lord i thank you for all these birdies and hummingbirds that i hear around i love to see the butterflies i love to see the hummingbirds god they're so beautiful with their iridescent feathers and their long beaks that you created them to get the nectar lord it's so cool so jesus just use us use us to the last drop use us for your glory lord and I need your help. I need your strength. I need your sustenance, Father, because autism has been ripping off my joy. And not anymore. Father, your word says that you are the source of our joy. You said the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Well, God, I have been camping on long-suffering for a long time, Lord, but nothing compared to other people. Moses was 40 years in the wilderness. Father Joseph was in prison. Jesus, you um, had to bend over and let them... Uh, scorch your back and you were bruised and you were ridiculed and you did it for me Jesus so my suffering is nothing compared to what you went through so Jesus bless each and every one praying with me right now Jesus come quickly Maranatha in your name amen